The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. Traveling for me is like a drug. Oh, as you can see, we're going to welcome some glass. Okay, so you're gonna be first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Aye, 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 aye. Three. It believes you stay for the women or for the wrong. You better believe it. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. The Motivational Missionaries Tour of Belize 2015. Every time you come, you come with a sense of energy, a sense of making, giving people um, feeling that the impossible is possible. And this is what we do is we wake up that potential within you. Ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah! Make it happen! Actually, I didn't think that I'd be able to do it, but Bert, Bert said I could do it. And then I started feeling like I could do it. And then it happened before I even knew it. I think he's doing an amazing job. I mean, I've seen that just in the kids that I work with. They have attended the, the show and I've seen, you know, just a difference in the last two days. The center is a lot noisier, but with positive noise. Our first event this year before we launched the tour was for Angela's Press. Today we're going to be speaking about body language. It was different because every year we start with children and starting with adults kind of gave us a different spin. And I think it is important that we acknowledge our body communication or informal communication and try to constantly improve each and every day. You know, very engaging. You know, he was engaged with everyone, not just the set group or a select group. I was actually surprised by some of the participants. They are normally not as participant at work, but I'm glad to see them break through in, at this event. Since it was the first one and everyone really interacted and it was a successful event, the outcome was great, then it really kind of started the entire launch for the tour. So we are out here in Belize. And we are doing a little bit of a walk around. We've got a couple hours until the event. We're going to go to the store real quick, get a couple things that we need, and then head back. But uh, I love this country. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show a little bit of uh, Miles why he should love it as well. We're very friendly. We're What's up, man? What's your name? Raheem. Miles. Raheem. Miles LJ. I don't feel too safe, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do, man. I trust you, bro. Hey! <laughs> you just got jumped. I just got jumped by a Belizean. After last night, I saw the motivation that the people got out of the show last night. So I'm looking forward to see what the kids will do today. Because I know every day is packed with a new, something new is promised. So I want to see what it's like. I want to, on behalf of the city, also express my thanks and gratitude to Bert and his team and all the other hands, especially the sponsors that made this possible. We declare the 2015 Motivational Missionaries Tour open. Are you guys ready to have a good time? Right now the projector went down and we're trying to figure out why. Repeat. Every year is different. Every event is different. Every group is different. Even though that we practice, do our homework, set everything up to have a perfect event every single time, the experience is always there. Have fun. Life is way too short to worry about what other people think of what it is you're doing. Does that make sense, yes or no? Yeah. 2015, our fourth year in Belize, we had to kick it up a notch. So she's gonna go, it's a W, lights. Everything turns red. Music. Yes or no? Yes! 
and you're having a tough time, you look at it and you say, you know what? I walked on glass. If I can walk on glass, I can do anything. This show was amazing, amazing. The house was jam rock back. And you guys can see right now, the, the kids are forming a big line to walk on glass. What are you going to do? Very grateful to Bert and his team for making the very long journey to Belize and coming and speaking to over 50,000 of our people and really inspiring them to recognize the power within. After I did it, I learned that I can trust myself and that I don't have to get afraid. The more and more we're here, the more and more we love to be here. So I want to go ahead and let everybody know, since we're launching today, that I'm here with Mayor Bradley and we are what? We're going to make, make it happen. happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. I already knew that this year was going to be one of the biggest successful years that we've had in Belize. They're getting together another 50 pounds of glass because, Alexa, we finished 60 pounds of glass with one group, and guess what? We got like 13 more groups to go. <laughs> this is the kids really needed the money. They're really poor. To stand there and choose goals and dreams over money said a lot. That's awesome. Besides all the working and doing, like working with the tour and everything, we just, from lack of sleep and being delirious, we have like these random bursts of craziness. <laughs> just all the energy that we got from everybody. What are you gonna do? One of the most important aspects for us is the volunteers. No tour can happen without having volunteers that help us get from one place to the other because we don't know our way around or, you know, help us get the microphones to the audience or making sure that the audience sits in the right places. I mean, they have a big job and we really appreciate our volunteers. So one of the things we like to do is give them an opportunity either during the ceremony of breaking the glass or after everybody's gone and, and the auditoriums are clear, then we kind of let the volunteers, you know, do some of the breakthroughs. Every now and then you get to experience something really special. And one of the things that we saw right from the beginning was we met Varen on day one of the tour. And by the end of the tour, he transformed. He opened up the look in his eyes, his attitude, his energy, everything about him transformed. I didn't have that much motivation myself, but being around you guys, I'm influenced to do a lot. And by seeing the looks on these kids' faces, if I can motivate them, for sure I can motivate myself, but I don't owe it uh, just to myself. I owe it to you guys, because without you, I mean, you guys are literally a miracle in disguise, and I'm very thankful. From the very beginning, I asked him if he wanted to walk on glass, and he was like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. And by the end, he was like volunteering for every single breakthrough. It was so awesome to watch him do that. Let's make it happen, Belize. The first event that we did, the kids were kind of excited because it was the very first event, but they still weren't as pumped as we needed them to be. So, two, three. Man! Whoa. <laughs> Towards the second event, we started realizing that one of our shout out people was Andrew. Oh. So we went ahead and had Andrew pretty much be the hype man throughout the rest of the tour. And boy, did he do that very well. My son Miles is not really a speaker. He got so empowered when we did our first event that he says, Dad, is there any way that I can actually do a speech? There's 1,200 eyeballs looking at you at any given moment. Right before you're about to get announced, it's crazy because it feels like your heart's about to pop out of your chest. See, the more certain you are about the message, the more they'll feel it. These children are hungry and they're focused and they're excited. And this is a great crowd. Normally we have a tough crowd. They already have a good time. But but I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, but I really want to help these kids, so it's worth it. I just really wanted to give back. I just didn't want to mess it up. Every single time before any event, I sat there and kind of in my head was stopping my feet saying, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. And then you finally you walk up and you calm down a little bit, but then you forget everything that you were going to say. To learn how you can support The Motivational Missionaries, visit our website and connect with us on your favorite social media.
Welcome to the family. My name's Eric. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> All right, and please share this video with your friends and family.